All right, people, Mike Saldon here again. Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Uh, this is another Phantom Liberty video discussing the ending, the tower ending, which is a new base game ending that you can unlock from playing Phantom Liberty, depending on the decisions you make. Uh, obviously, full spoilers for everything that happens in Cyberpunk at this point. Uh, if you're clicking on this video, you you probably know what you're doing. So, but I just thought I'd warn people anyway. Uh, but this ending has been pretty controversial. A lot of people don't like it. They feel like it's a kick in the teeth after everything V's gone through. Uh, that they get to live, but they've lost Johnny. They've lost all their friends, all their family. Everybody's moved on. Uh, Night City's completely changed after two years of you being in a coma. Uh, everybody rang up to try to contact. They've got their own life. They've got the, their own stuff going on. And they didn't really sit around and wait for V uh, to get through this uh, coma. Most of them didn't even know it was happening. So it is kind of fair that they've moved on. And they think that you abandoned them. Uh, maybe V could have like called everyone up and told them what they were doing first. Uh, maybe they didn't think this operation was going to be that serious. Uh, but I can see why some people have problems with the writing there. That they think V would have told like Judy or whoever their love interest is that this could be a very serious operation. Instead of just claiming that they're going on a holiday or whatever. And they don't feel that it's realistic that everyone would just abandon V. But I kind of disagree. Because if you look at the timeline of events. All these people V met in Cyberpunk 2077. I think the events are taking place over the course of a few weeks. Or maybe even a few months. And in the grand scheme of things V hasn't really known uh, Kerry, Pan Am, Judy, uh, and everyone, she hasn't really known them all that long of a time when you look at it. So it wasn't that crazy to me that most of them moved on. Or in Pan Am's case, she's quite fiery, quite feisty. Uh, that she's not willing to talk to you anymore because you just kind of up and left without really saying anything to her. And it is a hard, bitter pill to swallow that that's what people sometimes do uh, if you lose communication with them they sort of just cut you off um, even if you've known them a lot longer than V has known Pan Am and Judy and everyone for a few weeks or maybe months it's not really specified but I think the timeline the events of the game they can't take place over more than maybe two or three months uh, obviously when V first gets to Night City they hang out with Jackie for about a year or maybe it's six months or something like that I think it says in the beginning there's you know that flash or that flash forward sequence where you see everything V and Jackie are doing and how they've been getting on in Night City and then after that after they rob Arasaka Tower I think everything after that's only taken place over the course of like what two or three months maybe even weeks I think we need to ask someone at CD Projekt for a proper timeline. But yeah, again, the, uh, that's one reason I wasn't that completely mad at this ending. Because it kind of felt realistic to me that most of these people would move on. Uh, I was romancing Judy. And in the two years V was in the coma, she went off and got married. And my V, you do have the option to be quite angry on your phone call to Judy. But you can also kind of just accept it. And be happy for her and uh, sort of acknowledge that you kind of went off and left her. And you didn't really explain yourself very well. Uh, again, she, I think V just says, uh, yeah, I'm going on a holiday for a few months. It might be a little while before I see you. And she's kind of vague about all this. And uh, Judy just has to kind of go, okay, I'll see you later, I guess. And then two years go by. And she hasn't heard from you can't find you anywhere it is pretty realistic that she would move out of night city like she always wanted to and find someone else um so yeah i was okay with that i don't know how the other romances play out 
if pa, what, what Pan Am does, uh, she probably cuts you off the way she does if you're just her friend. I don't know what happens if River, uh, if he was your romance option, I don't know what he acts like. But then I get the general sense, mo all of these people just cut you off. Kerry, uh, Johnny's former bandmate, he's off on a tour. Uh, he's getting drug part in. He hasn't cut you off or anything, but he's kind of busy living his own life. He doesn't really have time for you. And again, V, while she really helped him out, she didn't know Kerry all that long. Uh, a couple of days, maybe at most. So again, it made sense that he was kind of off doing his own thing. And it actually really made sense that Victor, uh, the Ripper Doc, who's known V the longest, they're the one that actually, you know, still uh, actually accepts you back to have a conversation. Uh, of course, their clinic, it's been completely taken over by a corpo outfit. I actually forget the name of what it is now, but he's had to clean up his act and just join this corporation, and he seems pretty miserable, and, uh, like, his spirit has died a little, and it just isn't the same when you try to talk to him. Uh, you realize like you've missed out on a lot of stuff and it's kind of hard to go back uh, and then of course you get attacked on your way out of there and then Misty comes in and she actually offers some solace to V uh, talking about maybe you could start a new life somewhere fresh um, and that you don't have to you know, stay in Night City and you can sort of put all this behind you now uh, and V also loses their the bullet necklace charm thing that Misty made out of the bullet that uh, Dexter Deshawn shot V with. So at some point you lose that in this ending. And Misty says not to go looking for it. And it's kind of symbolic that that part of V's life is over and done with. And you can kind of start taking a positive from this ending at that moment. That the old V has kind of died, metaphorically speaking, and now they have a chance for rebirth, uh, to become someone else, uh, to live a different life. They don't have to be a mercenary anymore. And it's going to be hard to get over losing everyone. Uh, but this is the cost you have to pay if you're going to leave Night City and your old life as a mercenary. Uh, and also, as everyone else has pointed out, it's pretty obvious, but thematically, it all goes back to what Dexter Deshawn said to you in that very first mission about uh, do you want to go out in a blaze of glory or just fade away? Uh, or actually, he says, do you want to take the quiet life or whatever? Um, but that's really just some nonsense philosophy that Dexter Deshawn is trying to manipulate V with. Uh, he doesn't believe in his own philosophy as it comes to show when you go back and he shoots you. And he's like, uh, yeah, well, looks like I'll be choosing the quiet life after all. And you just see he's like a world-class bullshitter who just uh, spews out all this nonsense about a blaze of glory to try to make anyone who works for him think that they have to, uh, they have to follow this path of being a badass mercenary. So that you can earn the respect of people like Dexter Deshawn when he doesn't even believe his own philosophy. Um, so that was another reason why I thought in the end V uh, choosing to live this new life. At least that's what I did in the dialogue here. I said like, yeah maybe I will leave Night City. So I like to believe that my V uh, they went off uh, to a different country. They maybe did go to Misty says she's going to Poland I think to a certain forest uh, yeah that dialogue there she's talking about a Polish forest um, not actually sure what that are, that's a reference to but she says she's going off there to live so maybe V will travel there someday or maybe she'll go to any other country in the world and just get out of Night City and out of the new United States uh, or you could also uh, think that maybe she actually goes back to the FIA and maybe wants to work that job with uh, Reed because Reed's still alive in this ending and he does offer you to work there. Um, so maybe if you were a Corporal V it would make sense that you'd go back to working in a desk job. Uh, this V I was playing was a street kid. 
so it's kind of harder for them to let go of this life of mercenary work but I like to imagine that they do go when they find something better and that this uh, this ending is also quite a bit like uh, the ending of Goodfellas when I think about it where Henry's like and uh, now it's all over I get to live the rest of my life like a schnook which is basically like a nobody a uh, common person uh, and he he loses all his friends at the end of that movie he rats them all out uh, at least the ones that still are alive for the rest of them are dead or in jail and he has to go about his own life uh, in like he just lives a really boring normal life but is that really so bad or can like can they make something out of this new life that they've been given this new opportunity uh, and it depends really on how you look at it what sort of perspective you have but I actually like this ending I, I think it fits really well I'm not saying it's the best ending like objectively because that's what whatever you think is the best ending to you is the best ending I think this is the most thematically fitting ending I'll say that uh, but of course the what ending I like the most is of course where you leave with Pan Am and Judy and you go off into the desert you've got six months left to live but in uh, Misty's little tarot reading of that ending she it does show that V is gonna have a happy life so I choose to believe that she gets cured in that ending the nomads find someone who's good with like technology and uh, like they find some way to fix her in the sun ending I believe that is where you leave with Pan Am so yeah anyway that was my thoughts on this tower ending uh, I really quite like it uh, but I do understand why people uh, some people were disappointed and upset and they think it's a bit too miserable and depressing but yeah you have to look at like what world you're in here uh, the world of cyberpunk and uh, most people don't get out of Night City alive or without losing a lot of who they were uh, and yeah I just think it fits pretty well and I thought CD Projekt did a good job here so yeah thanks for watching people and I'll see you again next time with another Cyberpunk 2077 video